What's up everyone, we're back with another tutorial in Cubase. Someone in the comments had asked if I could show how to compose using loops, and I feel like that's no problem at all. He wanted me to uh, go through, you know, the device setup and everything, but in order to do tutorials, I use uh, virtual ASIO, which is totally different than my production workflow. So, I'll just show you some quick tips and tricks to composing with loops. So the best place to start with loops is the media bay. Uh, I just search for loop and then it'll give me loops, you know, here in the search bar. But a good place to start is drum and percussion. And we can sort by tempo, which is always good. I think I wanna do one around 130 beats per second. Look at all these loops. So this is what comes with Cubase. I'm not sure if all these loops come with elements, but they definitely come with Cubase, whatchamacallit. We'll do something uh, Cubase Pro. We'll do something tribal, so. Tribal loop seven, that's the one. So we'll just pull it here into the project. And uh, here's a good setting, folks, for in the project. Uh, snap on, quantize at one to one, and use quantize for your snap. That way you, when you move stuff, you move it a whole bar. Uh, and if we need to change that, we will, but that's a good way to think about it for now. So we have a tribal loop. That's our main beat, I'm sure. So tribal loop, and let's make the color, I don't know, yellow. That sounds good. And one thing I like to do is pick out a complimentary beat right away. So we'll go back to Media Bay. And I like to stay in the 130 wheelhouse for sure. So let's see if we can find something. How will that sound with it? So we can always, you know, That's pretty cool, but let's uh, not use that just because I don't feel like it. I want something more, what's the word? Dope, I want something more dope. So how can I find something more dope? I guess I'll just have to, you know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool glitched out thing. Let's try that. Nice. I love it. So let's take down the gain on that a little bit because that'll continue through all of our edits. So what I think I want to do is duplicate that with Control-D or Command-D if you're on a Mac. And then I'll move this over here. And then we'll duplicate that. So this is what we have so far. And we should change the color on air polka so we don't. Polka purple, does that make sense? Yes, it does. So that's what we got. I think it sounds kind of cool. Uh, and then I like to keep this beat just So let's introduce maybe some brass or something. And this is cool. I like to search by instrument, but you can do it a million different ways. So. That should work. Oops. There's where I want it. And with we'll brass, we'll make it. That's fine. Um, so this is what we got going into it. And then I think it's time for a bass line right after that. So we'll sue you bass. Huh. Oh, I like that. That's the one I want. So we'll drag that into our project timeline. And it gets a little hairy with 
uh, one monitor. So base will make this a different color. It's good to stay color coded just so you know what's what. And then maybe I want another brass loop, something a little bit more spicy to go over that. So we'll go back to brass, find something. That's dope. Whoa. Ooh, I like that. That's the one. That's the one for sure. So that'll go over the baseline. And we have a new one, Street Cops, and we want that to be a different color. So that's good. So here's what we got so far. We'll duplicate that. Maybe do that four times. And then we'll move this and do that little air polka thing again. Oh yeah, and check this out. When I move the thing along the side, you notice it disappears, but if I hold the Alt key, it actually copies. That is a pro tip for sure. And so we'll do what we did again. We'll duplicate the beginning. So. That might need the baseline there. Cool. And then maybe to end it, this section, we'll do that bam, bam, do, 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 one more time. And then I think we need something chill. So maybe we could do a chromatic percussion or piano. Or roads thing? Oh. Yeah, chill or diller right there. We got something chill going on. And I think we need like a slower drum thing. So let's go back to Media Bay and find some drums. What am I looking for? I want something like chiller. Is that like a thing? I mean, if I had to describe what I wanted, I would say I'd want it to be chiller, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So uh, that's what I'm looking for is chiller, you know? That could be chill. Okay. Booyah! Let's chill us all get up. And then what I think I want, whoa. 
What I think I want is a ba 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 da ba ba. But I want it to hit right on the one, so this is where I will change the snap to quarter notes. And I'll get that thing there. And then I'll hit one three times until my cursor looks like a little, has a little clock. And I'll time stretch it. And time stretching is nice. So I think it'll end with bam, ba ba da ba ba. And then I want this double thing going on, you know. And then we'll just have this thing going on. And then maybe another one of these things going on. Oops. Cool. And then another one of these things going on. So this is what we have. Baseline definitely there. Cool. And then what I want is this, but what I want is like quarter notes, just those quarter note hits. So what we're going to do is cool. If you saw what I did there, let's just back that up. I just have my regular selection tool and I just grab that first note and then I duplicate it four times. Duplicate it four more times and then this last one I'll let it ring out. And then we'll call that the end of the song. Yeah, that sounds chill. Let's try it. All right, so that's a minute and 42, uh, just really just quickly grabbing loops, doing some quick edits to them. So let's listen to it from the beginning. Whoa. Oh, I know what happened. This thing needs to be here. All right, so.
there we go, folks. So uh, that is a extremely quick composition using loops and the media bay, which you pull up by using F5. I just search for the word loop, and then I go through the category and say, you know what I need? I need a synth pad. And you could drag that into your project. Uh, and then you just use standard editing tools, especially Control D to duplicate your loop. Uh, when you grab it, you quantize that one to one, and you can move loops around a bar. So that moves it up a bar, that moves it back a bar, and you hold the Alt key and you can duplicate loops. So those are the main keys in working with loops. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. If you have, please like and subscribe and be feel free to leave a comment and tell me what I should focus on next. I am a typically a MIDI sequencer and an instrument player, so I don't typically compose in loops, but I figured I have the editing capabilities within Cubase to sort of show you the basics, and I hope that I have. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.